So you want to be an astronaut, but you failed the test. Or did you? Well, this kind of viral test from Tim Peake, which is a uh, astronaut spatial awareness test of some sort, seems to have a lot of people confused and there's a huge debate going on on which way it's actually correct. So as you can see, there's a cube, imaginary cube, that you roll different angles and you have a dot that should end up somewhere. Now, I think that we need to clear this out and we'll use some high-tech 3D printing, some 3D animation to figure things out. Were you really correct or were you just halfway there? Let's find out. So first, let's read the instructions. We're supposed to go forward, left, left, forward, right, backwards, right. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, but to test this really thoroughly, I designed and draw this 3D model. I then 3D printed it on a, well, a 3D printer. which is kind of cool, and we got it here. So um, I think that's it. I think we should start testing. So let's just figure this camera out. There we have it. This is the simulated dot, as you can see. We'll be using this one to kind of figure out where we are. Now, if we start rotating this forward, wait a minute, forward? Which way is forward? Is it forward for me, for you, for them, for someone over there? Remember, this is an astronaut test, so it's in space. So. So I think the first thing we need to do is just to draw up some sort of coordinate system. Otherwise, we can't really figure out what's back and forward. So we'll do that here in Illustrator. Z is going to be up or down. But let's say that X and Y are the two angles that we will be working with. You can see I draw them in, in Illustrator. So let's just print this 2D image out so we can actually use it in here. All right, so I printed out this piece. Now it's gonna be much more easier to see from this camera. So let's just cut to that. We have a X axle and a Y axis. Now you should be able to see that. Could be a little bit bright, but let's see if we can fix that. So let's start rotating and see what happens. Forward, well, we said that forward is gonna be my forward. So X plus, have this next to us and see what, what's gonna happen. Super exciting. Forward, that's this way. You can see the dot is still here. It's visible. Remember the dot started in this direction, could be interesting to know. Forward, we're gonna do left, left, let's see, forward, right, backwards, and right. Hmm, okay, can you see the result here? Let me just try to zoom in there a little bit for you. Hmm, so as it turns out, the dot is still facing downwards. But what's really important here to understand is that the dot has rotated, so to say. So the whole cube has rotated and also it has moved one spot. So if you answer that the dot is uh, down towards the table or whatever you're rolling the dot on, you are technically correct. But if you say that the dot is in the same place, I think you're not really correct because you have moved in space. So to really prove this point, I have done a rotation animation that you can see here. This you can be browsed in any web browser and you can do this yourself. The link is down below. You can share that with any friends or anyone in this discussion that don't get why it's all moving and the dot is on the same place. So please do that. I think that would be really fun and it's a really fun way to interact with the model because you can spin it around and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's how it all works. Alright, so that's pretty cool actually, that it, it rotated and we got it in a new angle. So it was actually it moved a position. So why are there so many people getting this wrong as you can see? Um, there's a bunch of comments. I think it's just how you read instructions, how you imagine this in your head. There can be so many ways that this is confusing. Maybe they think that the dot is on the table, even though the instruction says it follows with the cube. Or it says there is a dot on the bottom of the cube. So that means that it's on the cube, not on the table. But it's a very interesting thing to think about. So I think that, so if you think about this scenario again, try to imagine that it's a cube moving and it's not just rotating. Because on the image, we can kind of see that it's falling onto something. And, and again, if this is in space, well, there's nothing to fall on. So when I rotate the model, it would just stay in space still, which means that maybe it stays in space. It all depends on how you rotate it. In my mind, I rotate it by, by falling. So every time 
we get to the ground. So every time we fall with the cube, we start off from a new position and then read the instruction again. So I think that's my way of, of interpreting this. And I would say that this is the more, well, it's a more creative way of doing it. But again, it's not certain. We don't know if it's all correct. All we know is that the dot is facing the same orientation. And that is, I suppose, the correct answer. But it also rotated. It's so rotated 90 degrees. So it's still on the same side, but it's rotated, which is pretty interesting. So I think that kind of solves the mystery, depending on how you're looking at it, because it's still not a clear answer. We don't know from the instructions if we are moving the cube in the same space or if we're folding it on, on like the surfaces here. So maybe you didn't get a lot smarter today, but hopefully you did. So thank you so much for watching. Please click the link down below so you can study this model yourself. It's a self-repeating animation. I think it's pretty cool. Share it with your friends, share it with anyone that doesn't understand this problem or this quiz. I think this would be really fun. And you can also tweet at Team Peak and hopefully he sees this and answers if we are rotating on like a surface or if we are just rotating in the same space, position. Super interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. There's like 90% of you that watch that isn't subscribed so go ahead and do that it's gonna be a bunch of more fun videos about 3d printing about how you de can design your own models and how you can use 3d scanning 3d printing 3d graph rates there's just gonna be a ton of stuff so like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye